Hey guys, Charlie here. Welcome back to Cartel Tycoon. And uh, today, or probably the same day, you'll probably post this video the same time as the last one, or at least the same day. Uh, we are going to... Well, first thing I want to do is I want to start building up a little bit of wealth on the other side over there. So I'm going to take and remove this from the checkpoint and bring these guys over to the seaport. Right, because I think we're sending too much stuff to the other the other place, and uh, I don't like the idea of that. So I'm gonna send actually one of yeah one of you are gonna go that way, and the other one is gonna go the other way. Okay, then I think I want uh, my buddy here to take a quick break from moving money, and I'm gonna have him accelerate this process just a little bit. So I'm gonna have you deliver packages all the way over to there for now. At least once, maybe twice. This way we can get the... Oh, he's going to race the boat. Race the boat. Oh, he's going to have... Yeah, he's not going to make it. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, hey, he's fast. Did he get it? No, he didn't get it. Just out of time. Darn. That extra little bit you had to travel there. Oh, oh well. Anyway, so uh, that's going to give it just a little bit of a jump start. And, of course, this thing has its own trucks, too. So... Uh, when the trucks for this place get back, it should start leaving. But uh, I think I'm actually going to let him just do it. He's only got four. Never mind. Don't do that. In fact, you know what? I think there's like 72 of them on this one. All right. Move over to this one really quick and just grab these and get some more packages over there. The idea is, of course, to accumulate some wealth on that side of the map so that we can then pay off these guys once it's time to do so. So there's already 26 packages over here, and uh, this will make even more now. So we'll just let that be. So we're gonna tell him, we're gonna tell him not to do this delivery. So once he's done, he'll just go back to his post over here now. So let's just go like this. Okay, and move you back over here, and I want you to start laundering money again. And I'm just keeping an eye on the buildings and stuff. Deliver the money to here. Okay, now that that's happening, I'm gonna slow it on time just a little bit. So we've got 52,000 in legal money, 21,000 in dirty money. And you can see what we're doing here, right? This is with cannabis and cannabis is nice. This is, this is okay. Dried cannabis. I don't know the ratios of different farms to buildings and the efficiencies and all that stuff. But I think what I want to do is instead of sending the dried cannabis through customs like this with uh, vegetables, I think what I would rather do is to set up a little bit of dried cannabis operation over here because we can do that with a little bit more efficiency with the farms, right? So I think if I put, let's say I put it right here, let's do, uh, let's do two farms. Let's do like one here at 60%. We'll do another one right here. Let's say right next to it. Let's just go like this. Another 60%. We'll just do two for now. And then uh, I need to have a warehouse which can, you know, work with both of these. So we'll just do that right now. Right about like that. Okay, warehouse will work with both of these. And we're just gonna set up basically a road that goes like that and like that. And then another road that connects to the gravel, I guess right there and right there. All right, so this will be like, there's gonna be just cannabis growth, right? Happening here, right? And one other thing I'd like to do is I want to take a look at another crop that I haven't grown yet. And that is coffee. All right. So is there any place that's not 30% for coffee? It looks like it's pretty much 30% everywhere for coffee. I can't build over here, but I assume since it's all the same color, it would be, ah, here we go. Ah, uh, see, they already have coffee farms set up right here. But this is over here in Molino, which we have to go through uh, ten Tensaka to get through. But we could technically take this over if we wanted to. And then sort of, I don't know, I guess, make the product go all the way through Tensaka and then out. We could technically do that. But I think it's probably best for us not to cause any trouble. And instead, I think I'm just going to go with some coffee production right here. I'm not sure how much I need. Um, so why don't we just put it right here for now? But the idea here is I think I want to dry the I want to dry the cannabis 
So we're going to also get a dryer too. We're kind of spending some money here, but if I get a drying rack right here, maybe just right next to this thing. Yeah. Right next to this thing. Actually, I could do it right here, right? The fit right here. It's a pretty small place. Looks like it just doesn't fit where I wanted it to. It's this road, man. Hold on. I want the road. To, I want this to go in. Let's uh, let's delete this road here too. Oh, okay, fine. We'll delete all the roads. All right. So what I want to do, I guess, is we're gonna go like that, and then this will come in as close as possible, like that. Okay. Now, can we fit that in there? Yes, right there. Good. Right there. Okay, so drying rack's going in, and then we just have this quick little street that basically just connects it straight up. So two, basically two cannabis farms are going to feed a level two warehouse. Level two warehouse is then going to send it to the drying rack to be dried. We've got this farm growing coffee. And again, I don't know how effective that's going to be. Oh, well, that's like a weird road. It didn't quite snap. There we go. Eight days, eight hours to give me eight? Whoa. Okay. I think we're going to need more. I think we're going to need more. Let's get more. Uh, yeah, like this. I could actually put it on this side. I'd rather save that for more cannabis if necessary. Let's go like this. Eight days for eight. Wowzers. That seems like a really long time. So, oh my gosh. Uh, oh, did I just, I built the wrong thing here. Hang on, let me upgrade it and then go coffee. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna also do coffee. Wow. In the meantime, we're gonna dry cannabis like crazy. All right, so we're getting the, the cannabis dried. And then hopefully we're gonna start storing it. Yeah, we're gonna get a whole bunch of stored dry cannabis here, which is good. Uh, so I'm going to let this go just so it can just collect it for a bit. And I mean, this is why vegetables are so popular to move through because coffee takes forever, but I want an alternative crop. I don't want to be stuck with just this. Uh Oh, speaking of which, uh, we're just now maxing out on. All right. You know what? You guys we're done with opium. I think we're done with opium. Yeah. You know, I'm kind of tired of being full on it. So uh, we're done with it. How's that sound? And we're going to deliver all of it to this one. Go. This plane, this isn't even, like, this is empty, man. Go. Uh, what else is this? This is good. This is good. But I think we need to also switch you to dried cannabis, too. Why don't we just switch everything? To, I, mean, I think cannabis is going to be a better growth for us, right? No, I mean, it's still, it's, it's worse. It's worse efficiency. Hmm. It is worse efficiency than what we're already doing. But I think it's worth more money. Hmm. Maybe that's just me. That's, maybe that's just foolishness talking. I don't actually know if it's worth more money. What I do know is that we're getting very close to full on this. I need you to come over here. Yeah, and we need to transfer some of this over. This is not balanced, right? There's, there's more opium being delivered here than there is here. And I just have to keep doing this every so often just to balance it out. And I wish I didn't have to do that, but that's the way it is. So now this has got almost none, and this has a whole bunch. And, you know, that's just kind of the way it is. But this doesn't have any uh, this doesn't have any vegetables right now. So it's not receiving vegetables. What's going on with this warehouse? We got 166 vegetables here. Are you not delivering them to these two workshops? I guess not. We may need to start delivering them over here. No, because we have coffee, and that's what the coffee's for. Okay. So, uh, how long is it going to take? I think we could technically provide more dried cannabis, and then send the dried cannabis over here if necessary. At least until we get an adequate amount of... Wow, look at all this stuff. Like, there's nothing being stored here. Everything is here because we don't have the vegetables... 
All right, let's try this. We're gonna... Let's, we're gonna take... Uh, yeah, you got vegetables. Let's have you deliver here. Yeah, let's have you deliver there. So these 15 vegetables should be on their way over to this other workshop. And uh, then once the workshop receives it, right, we'll be good to go. So I, I'm setting up the, a, a dried cannabis thing, but I also want to look into other types of stuff too. And I'm thinking we need a lab because with a lab, if you take a look at the little tutorial thing here. Scroll down to drug processes. First off, there's a typo in this. Uh, this is supposed to be dried cannabis, not dried cocaine. Uh, not a thing. So uh, opium dried cannabis is this recipe. You also see the icons as dried cannabis. And then cocaine is here. We need farm three, drying rack two, and lab one. So lots of research, right? to upgrade our, our stuff. And with the farm three and dry, drying rack two in place, working with lab one, we get cocaine and then we can pack cocaine in with things and we start making lots more money with cocaine than we do with everything else. So we really start upping our game at that point. You know, you know, uh, get too much going on here. And I kind of want to stop delivering, please. Uh, you need to move some of your excess over to somewhere else. Let's say there. Move some of your access over to here. So, like, there is a better way to set this up to what's more automated. I know. And, uh, you know, maybe if, if people are like, if you guys are like, dude, just take a minute. Like, take, take a whole lot of time and just really min-max this for us, please. If you really want me to do that... I will give it a shot. Um, I'm just not as interested in it because it's not as fun. Although, to be fair, if I wasn't micromanaging my guys and I was designing more things, that actually might be more fun. So I don't know. Like, it's one of those things where it's like a trade-off where it's like, man, do I really want to sit there and crunch the numbers? But at the end of the day, like so some part of me, it's a small part, but some part of me says, that's kind of what this game's about, you know? Like the min-max part is sort of what this game is about. So I'm gonna ask you guys, a question okay and let me know what your thoughts are on this okay when you play games what do you play them for what's your motivation behind playing a game is it like pure enjoyment or are you one of those meticulous numbers people that really want to dig into it do you find it to be a, a challenge do you find it to be something where you're just like looking to blow off steam after work I don't know the kinds of games you play, but I think for the most part, the types of games you play would tell me a lot about you too. Um, so if you want to include that, that'd be cool too. But I'm interested to know what what kinds of games are, like, what do you play games for, basically? Let me know that one too. Uh, so I'm looking at, oh yeah, what, 14, 42 opium there. And that's all going this way, right? All of that stuff is heading to the sea. So we've already got 22,000 over here. I think it might be time to start taking control of Foscani. You know? We're about to get only eight. And then if we were gonna pack this, let's say we were let's say we were gonna pack it hypothetically, right? We would have a workshop. That workshop could be like maybe here, whatever. Right. And then of course this is gonna deliver the dried cannabis to this. But we would wanna upgrade. We would want to dramatically increase our rate of production on that dried cannabis at that point. So most likely we would want another farm, probably right over here. Actually, we could just do it here. We would want another farm because this is gonna, well, I mean, actually, I don't know. I don't really know. Let's do only one more, no more. But uh, I have a feeling that uh, with selecting, so let's just get this to be like that and then off like that, off you go. If I go with, yeah, dried cannabis and coffee. So it's five dried cannabis can pack into one coffee as opposed to vegetables, which is only three dried cannabis into one vegetable. If I go with spice, I can get six with one spice. That's cool. And then chicken will be three to one chicken. So, so spice seems to be the best product ratio as long as we can grow it, which requires farm three to grow spice. I think, right? Um, yeah, it's it's 
No. 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 Oh, maybe it's... Is it like a plantation only thing? Where's Spice? I feel like I'm being duped. Can you only buy Spice? I mean, I'm not opposed to buying the Spice. I just feel like, you know, $10 each is a bit steep, but... Like, I'm not opposed to buying it. Well, in either case, I think coffee is, is a good kind of second place because it takes five dried cannabis and one coffee. So with this eight days, right, if we really were going to nitpick it, right, eight days and eight hours for eight coffee, we have two. So that's 16 coffee in about eight and a half days. Under the assumption that that's the case, how much would we have to produce with cannabis, dried cannabis, during that eight days? To equal an exact ratio for the workshop so it doesn't fill up right and then we can scale that operation if you do those numbers scales that operation uh, as you go into like infinity right that's that's the idea it doesn't look like they're gonna it doesn't look like they're very suspicious of us yet which is actually pretty good all right so we're packaging it up well, we're, we're bringing the dried cannabis over is all we're doing. Um, so now we've delivered all the dried cannabis to uh, the workshop. But now we're just waiting on the coffee. Coffee's going to pop momentarily. These vegetables are going all the way over there. Hang on. Uh, okay, that's good. I like that. How are these two things doing? They look like they're getting a little bit full. Um, I don't think they're getting full with the vegetables, though. Uh, you know what? I'm going to swap you to vegetables. Just one, one swap to vegetables. No, not this one though. I think it's got to be this one, right? Yeah, it's got to be this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you stay where you are and then, I mean, I know this is a low ratio and all, right? And like, I know it's like, oh, it's only 30% of it. I know that, but honestly, um... That's kind of all I need. I don't need 100% efficiency on, on the vegetables. They're just being kicked out too fast from that farm. Uh, what's going on with money here? Can you deliver the money to be washed, please? Thank you. You. Uh, I want you to just move over here so that you're ready to go whenever you're needed. All right. So how is our coffee? It, it, it looks like it popped and we are packaging it up. Good. Now, we need to make a lot more coffee. I think. I don't actually know. Maybe not. Maybe this is an okay ratio. And then I want you to deliver this to the border, right? Boom. Off you go. This might be an okay ratio here. I think we do need one more coffee, though. Let's take a look at it. Four. Three. This is not bad, actually. Two. Two. One. Done. And then we get to build up the supply after that. I think we can deal with one more. One more coffee ought to do it. Uh, as far as like getting this to be really nice as far as timings and stuff goes. I kind of like it. All right. So we'll get one more coffee field. Anything going crazy over here? Doesn't look like it. I do have the plantations off. Right now, because this stuff is just filling up. Now we're filling up on vegetables. So, too much vegetables. <laughs> I can't do it. You know what? Let's just get another... Why not? Let's just get another freaking workshop. This is how we're going to solve this problem. We're just going to workshop spam it. Why not? Look, another one. Ta-da! There you go. There you go. Hope you deal with it. We'll have Hector deliver all the resources over here so it can get to work immediately. How's that sound? And we'll deliver it to the seaport instead of the other place. Instead of the bad place. We're going to send it to the good place instead. And this is within range. So they're all... Yeah, they're both within range and everything. So whatever. All right, Hector. I want you to deliver the thing that's overdoing this one right here. Deliver this over here. Just for a little bit. Okay. And then I want you to now deliver the... Opium there too, and this can just get to work making opium veg with vegetables. 
And then I want you to send that, whatever package you deliver, to the seaport. Go. Are you working now? Fantabulous. Okay. Move Hector back over here so he can respond. And then you are going to deliver the money. Nope, there's no money yet. There will be soon, very soon. And now there's money. Cool. Deliver the money to this. You're delivering money. Very good. And the seaport has a total of 32000 in there, just sitting there waiting. We have another 6,500 6, on the way. And then there's also another 12 packs, which is about 3,300 bucks. And then there's more packs on its way over there too. So overall, doing decent. And actually we have uh, a little bit more in the residence we could go do too. So I could have you deliver the rest of this from the residence. There you go. Just to have more going through the planes. All right, and then I want you to go back to delivering money. Here we go, deliver money to here. Now, we still have a mission over here, right? That's to eliminate the enemy gang presence. I've been wanting this terror to drop a little bit before I address that. That's what I've been wanting anyway. So, and because we're sending some diversity through here now, right? We're sending a little bit of the coffee too. And um, because of that, I'm kind of trying to hope, hoping to throw off the DEA, throw, throw off their scent by sending extra, by sending different types of products, not just all vegetables, right? So that's why we're packaging it with coffee. Speaking of which, I think I want to get a little bit more coffee. I'm going to buy some coffee, which is going to up our, our loyalty a little bit. And I would like you to deliver that coffee here. And... That's going to get this working again, right? I think that'll probably be the only delivery, but like, but again, by building it, we can actually, our loyalty dropped all the way down. So never mind. That doesn't really matter, does it? Ah, uh, okay. No problem. Um, Tony, I think we're, I think we're good to move on this place now. Go. Tony's going to go beat some, some wreck some heads here. Go get him, Tony. Taking out the gangs. The other gangs, not us, the other gangs. Those other gangs. Those other guys are bad. We're good, all right? The other guys are the ones that are bad. There we go. Good job, Tony. Keep going, buddy. You can take them. You can do it. Another 12 packets on its way over. And then the last one is here. And this will be the last part of this mission for, for uh, Foscani. All right, let's move you back over to the airways. Thank you, good job. Okay, what do you want now? How he deals with it is none of your business. Deliver 200 dried cannabis to Fiscani. 200 dried cannabis. Pause. Pause. 200 dried cannabis. Okay. Okay, you've gone and done it now, haven't you? Let me take a look here. So what I want to do is I want to completely convert this. This whole place is going to become cannabis, which is what I was going to do in the initial, was going to do in the first place. This whole place becomes dried cannabis. We're going to, we're going to facilitate, um, any type of uh, vegetables that we want, which we have tons of right now. So it's no big deal, but any type of, oh, actually we're getting short on this. Let's turn this back on for the opium trade here. Um, but we're going to turn this whole thing into cannabis right now. And then this is going to deliver dried cannabis to a dryer, which is going to be right here. And then what we're going to do is send all of this to Fiscani. Because Fiscani wants that. So we're now going to send all the cannabis that we that we make from these four farms is going to go through this dryer and then immediately out to Fiscani. That'll just be a passive thing. Although. Although, we do have a workshop here and a couple of farms here, which could potentially, if upgraded, also help us do that. We do not have a dryer here, though. And then this over here is interesting because these are chemical plants. And I don't have the ability to upgrade the chemical plants. But um, if I did, we could start doing some meth here if I had the ability to, to do that. Let's send this back over here. 
All right, so we're going to turn this into our little dried cannabis operation. And I kind of wish I could do it with the uh, plantation. Maybe we can. I have money. Let's take plantation and maybe go level two with it. This will unlock cannabis as a resource from the plantation. Did you spend a significant amount of money recently? Oh, wait. Did you spend a significant amount of money recently, didn't you? That's that's a weird way of saying that. Um, Rocio Gaitan? Gaitan? I don't know how you say your name. If you follow the money, there's usually a good story behind it. That's what they say. Hmm. I think you will find that you are mistaken. Are you sure there's nothing to see here? Just regular business transactions. Oh, good. It's like... It's the, the police getting us again. Then you won't object to me doing a little research, will you? Just to justify my curiosity, I'm sure you understand. I like to dig up stories, but only if they are in the public interest. That is the kind of facts that everyone needs to know. All right, so I could say, I could give you an exclusive, give dirty money. I like that a lot because I have a ton of it that I can't wash right now. You are making a fatal mistake. Character will be killed, terror will increase. Um, Whoa. This is just flat out kills Felix. That's not what I want to do. I'm going to give you dirty money. I could give you an exclusive. I could, yeah. Bribe the journalist. Ah, she's a journalist. Okay. Uh, what does she want? Bring $45,000 dirty money to Rogandes to sponsor positive coverage. Whoa. Really? I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. But how much time do I have? It looks like it's ticking. Six days. Six days. Holy moly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, that's a lot for six days, but okay. Uh, we will deliver money to Rogandes for the exclusive, I think. <laughs> That's 9,300. I think we have more to add. We have much more to bring. There is 38,000 in here. I still need to deliver this to the dried cannabis. Tell me that that's happening, please. Uh, we're... Are we drying it? We are drying it, right? Yeah. Uh, is it going in here and then out? It's cannabis in storage. Uh, can I move here I want to uh, deliver the cannabis to here if it's not being done already and then uh, is the dried cannabis already go already going or or what I added I added Foscani as a target of delivery but I don't see anything actually added here that's a problem Let's not not do that right now. Um, so yeah, this makes dried cannabis. What's what's the deal with like why is there fruit and stuff or why is there vegetables and stuff still here? Ah, there it goes. These three are going out. These three are going out to Viscani right now. Only three. Ouch. Hey, I don't have a whole lot of time for this this sponsor thing. I mean, there's 3,200 still coming here. I guess there is some more stuff heading out, but like, I don't know if I can make it in time. Also, I have tons of vegetables now and no dried cannabis at all. So I kind of need to know what's going on here. Why isn't this getting dried very fast? All right, we need, we need faster. I need to go faster here. Farm, uh, cannabis. We're going to go bop, bop. I know it's not very efficient with space, but I'm kind of whatever right now. And then we're just going to go bop and bop. And then I would upgrade this, but I don't have the re I don't have the where the research to upgrade it. That's weird cuz I upgraded all these to warehouse 2. How come I don't have the up Oh, this is already where I need to upgrade three. Yeah, okay, never mind. That's fine. Dried cannabis should be heading through here. Yep, there we go. Package it up and send it out. 
All right, we're at 24,000. Well, we're at 24,000 and we're less than half. We have like more than halfway more to go, right? Like we have more to go. And I could also purchase this coffee right here and have Hector go and uh, deliver more coffee. Just to do it. So deliver more coffee here. Actually, the dry cannabis is the problem. It's almost like this one dryer can't handle it as fast as it needs to, but yet it's all, it's never working, right? Like it's never, it needs 25. It needs 25 to do, that's why. I need even more fields. That's impressive. All right, I mean, it's, it's like a ratio thing, right? Like we're just learning how many fields do we need to come up with the results we're looking for, right? Uh, so we'll do two more fields. There you go. That's a lot of cannabis. There you go. We'll grow even more. Why not? And then, you know, we're obviously sending off this way. Yeah, Fascani. Only we only sent three. We've only sent him three. We've got a long ways to go on that. Uh, Tony, I think I'm gonna need your assistance temporarily. I really want to use this as a as the bribe, though. Like, I don't want to do this as the. But at the end of the day, like, I gotta make sure that this journalist, like, I gotta make sure the journalist does not uh, doesn't get me right. So I need to keep an eye on this. And if they decide to shut this border down right now, then all we have left is the coffee. Or maybe they'll block coffee and then I'll just be really easy because I'll just turn everything into vegetables. I've got tons of vegetables. Mm, this looks like it's doing okay now. As far as like the balance goes, maybe a little bit light on the, on the opium. A tad bit. But I could also change this to cannabis if I upgrade it later. Actually, it's not ready yet, right? Yeah, yeah, we're only halfway done. I love the progress bars, how it's like water, you know? Like a fluid, I guess, not necessarily water. I'm not entirely sure what the whole significance of it is. You know, like why why choose that? But um, I love how it's, it's just it's just different. And looks like we don't have any vegetables again. Jesus. Okay. Um, well, can you single plantation? No, not that. Honestly, like it needs to be. I feel like it needs to be one of these. You turn veg. No, not you. Which one of you are within the range of everything? If I if I do you, I think neither one of these. The plantation's kind of the only one. Hmm. That's unfortunate. All right, you know what? Fine. You go vegetables. So we can just start delivering as many as we can. And then uh Yeah, the dried cannabis over here is going to take a very long time, but I'm going to add another one. Because it looks like, ratio-wise, you need a lot more fields to do red cannabis. So, I'm going to drop another one right here. And then we're going to have gravel roads go from there. And gravel roads go to there. We should be able to pull in lots more dried cannabis and then hopefully get it delivered here. We've only delivered three so far. So weird. How? There's 30, there's 39 here. Oh, the destination was deleted? Why? Why was the destination deleted? That's odd. Send it away. Off you go. Uh, Bride the journalist quest is completed. Good. So we sent her 45,000 dirty money. She's supposed to give us positive coverage. Like she's supposed to. I don't know if she did, but uh, she's supposed to. And that's also a good way for her to leave us the hell alone. So I want you to now move the money you just moved back into the uh, casino. And then uh, move back over here. All right. I like how I'm having the big cheese, right? The big guy is managing, like, the border over here. <laughs> like, that's not a job for him. That should be a special job, some job for somebody else. This should be a job for Griselda to do, right? Like, we should, have, we should put her over there. And put you over in the capital city. Felix should be in the capital city, right? He should have his people 
doing this other stuff, you know? That's supposed to be how it goes. Oh, here we go. Delivering more dried, dried cannabis. We got 15 delivered. Now 27 delivered. All right, we're starting to move it. Meanwhile, we're just, you know, chilling, hanging out. Tony. I think Tony needs to move back over here and start managing the money flow. Because we're going to start... And actually, we should have... There's nothing in storage. Wow. Tony, let's get you... Move over here, actually. This building right here. There is so much product right here. And I think it's time we move this product. Deliver all of this straight over here. Go. Plantation 2 is done. That's excellent. Deliver money to casino. Go. And then I'm thinking about getting a bank because we can launder money faster with that. We're up to 100,000 dirty money, guys. Like really, all we need to do is just clean it. And uh, that's not easy to do necessarily. 64,000 of it's at the seaport. Just chilling, right? Which is a big, a big deal. I can't imagine we need more than that. I mean, I guess I, I can't imagine. <laughs> But I would like to believe that we don't need more than that. So I'm going to go ahead and switch logistics from the seaport and have them go all the way over here now. Send things that way, please. Yep, to the checkpoint. And then you are going uh, to the checkpoint as well. Off you go. And then uh, I want you to move over here. And we're going to have to move the money from here now. There's $9,000 to clean here too. Deliver the 9,000 to the casino. Whew, okay, so what did we do in this video, right? <laughs> well, um, we, we started on dried cannabis and we're packing it in coffee, which is decent. We're actually producing too much coffee. So we need even more cannabis. I'm not opposed to just, you know, spamming the cannabis. Spamma de cannabis right here. Just spam another one right here. And right the back here. One, two, pop, pop. I don't know how we're going to connect this to the... I guess we're going to do it like this. Yep. Like that. And like that. Done. And then we just dry it here. And send it this way. We have cannabis in storage. We just need the trucks to keep moving it. And actually, that's a cool thing for Hector to do. Because if I put Hector right here, he's gonna we're going to have more trucks on this. Might be able to do that faster. But it's kind of crazy how this one dryer you know, is handling all this cannabis. It's nuts. You know? It's crazy. So much stuff happened in this tiny little area. I love it. And then we have just the dried cannabis with this. And then, yeah, we send it off in the coffee. So we're producing good amounts of stuff, guys. I'm liking where this is headed. 26,000 legal money right now. And we're finally to the point where we're not really paying someone else, right? I mean, we have 107,000 dirty money, and we just paid this journalist 45,000, you know? There's a lot of this. We, we're not able to wash it very fast, actually. Yeah, you know what? We're about to get overflowed on this. We need a bank, and I'm going to get one. So let's grab a bank, and we can actually split this money up so we can wash it faster. Because... Actually, right now, we're about to have too much of it. We're just going too much through here. So let's take a break from this so the DEA doesn't catch on to us. Maybe we just, you know, don't. Well, I mean, we're still shipping it through, so it's not actually the truth. But bank is under construction for a day. So, I mean, while that's happening, we got to... Oh, good. Oh, Vanessa. Yeah, you know what? You want to... I want to definitely promote her. Uh, warehouse 3 beautiful uh yes please sicario awesome now we have access to warehouse three but there's no more spots up here ouch but we might be able to promote hector he's the first to go up we might be able to promote him in the organization and then we can get some other people down here too i actually wonder because we're making a bunch of money we have access to more people Where'd it go? Right here. Mmm. All right. So, Mauricio, 
and Julio. Now, this guy's upkeep, right? So he's Halcon. So he's a little higher on the on the ranking. Same thing with Garado. And then uh, we've got Jesus Garza and uh, Mauricio Romero. The, these two are are the bottom. These are Novato, novices. So if I'm um, if I'm, I mean I have room for this. I could I could hire these guys. They take upkeep costs though. So what are they going to be doing for me? They're going to be moving stuff around. Hopefully, right? They move product around a little bit, and they're here to to fight. Actually, do we have fighters? Uh, one power. One power. They all have like one power. But you have delivery, so you're hired. And Mauricio has access to warehouse three. Shit. <laughs> okay. Well, we would have got that anyway. And then dried cannabis dealer. Okay. Affects the selling price of dried cannabis at any borders, increasing it by 30%. Wow. You're hired. Of course, he doesn't have that skill yet, but he could. He could have that skill. All right, Jesus, I'd like you to go to this border, please. Uh, Griselda, I'm going to move you down to here. All the way over. Mauricio is just going to hang out for a second. So we've got people all over the map now. But we're also at higher costs now, right? Because I just hired more people. I'm not sure we need more people. If we take a look at our, our finances, our economy now, right? I don't know if it'll actually show this to me. Legal money has dropped substantially. Illegal money, way up. We just need more help. We need, we need, I need more help bringing the money to be washed. Like this, there's nothing happening here, right? So the money just needs to be washed. There's 26,000 being washed here. The bank is going under construction right now. There's just not enough, like there's not enough stuff being moved out of here. I think I want to switch all of this stuff and we start, we start shipping cannabis out instead of the opium. I'm not sure what the limit is though on, on that stuff. Maybe we start shipping out the other packages. Maybe I get rid of the airport. It's $90 of upkeep cost. I don't know. I have no idea. But I think we're going to find out in the next video instead. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe if you want more. And check out anything else going on in the channel. We got Surviving the Aftermath. We got Chef. Uh, pretty sure Mass Effect still going to go. <laughs> for the five of you that are interested in that ridiculously hard, insane, no weapons challenge. That's happening. Uh, take care of yourselves. Love your faces. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.